on, um, so we're going to do quick recaps of Super Saturdays. Um, I would love to hear like your personal takeaways or like what stood out because we all can go to the Coach Online office and actually watch the video to hear about the awesome releases coming up. Um, just as a little teaser, um, you know, for those that are listening, Jericho has a new program coming out. Fruit Punch Energize is coming out. There's a new Success Club um, system. Um, which I'm actually really excited about that as well as the roads to elite. I think all of that kind of seems to work well together and make sense. Um, also an opportunity to be part of the virtual recording of autumn's new program. So if you want to know more about that, go to the coach online office and check out, um, the video from super Saturday, but without further ado, um, myself, Jen, Sarah Lydia, and Mary Bridget all got the chance to go to Super Saturdays all across the country, which is pretty cool that we, um, Jen and Mary Bridget were together, but that the rest of us were in different locations. So um, who, does somebody want to go first? Or I can? Does anybody? Um, okay. would, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I got to go to Cleveland, well, Akron, and uh I totally went for Autumn. <laughs> I thought that was pretty awesome that she was there. So it was pretty, she talked a lot about um, being vegan and having how there's going to be a lot more vegan recipes yeah. within her new program. And they're trying, well, she couldn't officially claim it, but they're trying to get, or she's heard talks of them having vegan recover. Oh, that would be awesome. And I'm sorry. Would that be great? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I would bet that that's probably, I wouldn't be surprised if that isn't released sometime this year. I would. Yeah. yeah. It sounded like that was highly possible, but yeah, she was pretty cool. She just answered a lot of Q and A mostly about nutrition. And then, um, she really didn't plug in her, her like new thing really a lot. She just talked more like personal level and it was pretty cool. I enjoyed her in her conversation and then Donald actually talked and was the keynote. He was the last person to speak and talked a lot about saying yes when you don't necessarily know what's gonna happen, but you kind of want to go to the next step. You kind of have to say yes to things that you might feel a little challenged by or you second guess yourself when you say no. You Those are kind of the things that you need to really go for. Now, is he a coach also? Yeah, he is. And how his, did he, how his did he, aunt or no, his, um, I think it was cousin got him involved with it. All right. So here's the real twist of the story. He's from Dayton, Ohio, which is crazy, which is absolutely crazy to me. He actually went to the same church I went to. Oh my gosh. And I mean, like it is zero degree separation right there because I mean, I saw him in the band that he was in singing and now it all clicks because right. I was like, oh my God, that's totally him. So how did he end up with Autumn? So the short end of the story, basically he ended up going down to Nashville because his brother wanted him to be in a band. So he ended up going down to Nashville. He decided that he was going to do um, ballroom dancing. And then, so he started teaching ballroom dancing and Callie was his student. Callie had to fly out to California to visit Autumn and she was scared because she'd never been on a plane before, convinced Donald to go with her. And he's like, what the heck am I going to do if a plane crashes? I'm just going to be crashed with you. But anyway, so ends up going with her, met Autumn. Um, actually, I, I take that back. They met at um, Indy, or I'm sorry, Nashville when it was the um, summit. It was in Nashville. Yeah. But Anyhow, so when he went out to California, they ended up linking up and they convinced him, long story short, to live there. So Callie and Donald were living during 80 Day Obsession in Autumn's house. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. But yeah, so it, I mean, long end of the story, he ended up teaching Autumn and Callie ballroom dancing. Oh, very fun. Very fun. Well, good. Okay, so since you had mentioned Autumn's new program, um, for people who haven't yet looked at that, it's called the ultimate portion. Yep. Fix. Thank you. The ultimate <laughs> portion fix. 
Yes. And I, I haven't yet figured out, are there workouts associated with that? Or is that what she's retaping 21 day fix and 21 day? She's days? retaping that for. Yeah. And so then those are the things that if you as a coach or a new person, new coach purchase the ultimate fix or the ultimate portion fix by um, April 1st, which tells me that it will come out before April 1st, um, then you will have access. You'll be able to be part of the, their virtual, like they're taping it just like they've taped 80 day obsession. And so up until now, only people in the test group would have access to that where they could actually see them taping it and doing the workouts with them as they actually filmed it. So now we actually have that opportunity, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, cool. Well, thank you for sharing that. Jen, do you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Um, so I went to the one in Indy and it was awesome. It was my second super Saturday. So it was very good. I kind of knew a little more what to expect, but so we had Josh Coates there. He was our speaker. And so he talked a lot about, um, you know, you have your dream and you have your goal and you should just go all in and not, and not think, well, what if it doesn't, you know, what if it doesn't happen? What if you don't get to your goal? Well, just make it a, you have to, because there's no other option kind of in your mind to stick with it. So, and, uh, he talked a lot about excuses that people have because he does some individual kind of mentoring with a lot of beach buddy coaches. So he talked about the excuse of, you know, it's taken away from my family or I don't have, have time. Some of those excuses. And he said, life's always been hard. No matter what you're doing, it's hard. Another, it's not beach body that's making it hard. It's because you're going after your goals and your dreams and it's going to be hard. And so just not having as many excuses. He talked a lot about that. Um, he talked about when you have, he, he said, when you have a kid, it gets hard. And, but you, you want to shove the kid back up in, but you can't. So you just have to, to figure it out. Um, what else? He did say that 80% of Beachbody coaches are introverts. So to not let that be an issue. That's so interesting. That's a really high number. Like really yeah. high number. I thought so too. And wow. he mentioned that social media is a skill, so you just have to it and get better at it and get more comfortable with putting yourself out there because 80% of us are introverts. Mm -hmm. huh. Well, and I think that that's so true. I mean, I think we've all learned so much, you know, about social media, just, you know, what to share and how to share and really, you know, and, and I know for me, you know, I kind of go in like, wait. Like if I'm just like not feeling it and kind of feel like I'm going through the motions, my social media is totally there, right? Like I'm only sharing the what's and not the why's. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there's always a way to stop and go, okay, wait a second. And, and that will kind of tap into what I'm going to share. That was my biggest takeaway. Um, you know, okay, wait, why am I even talking about this? You know, like <clears throat> Sarah Liddy and I were chatting but before she met. Um, Autumn, you know, like people outside of our bubble don't really know who Autumn is, you know, but they can connect with, oh, wait a second. He really helped Sarah, the person that I know, do X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Well, good. Yeah. Hey, Mary Bridget. Hey. Hey. Want us to come back to you, um, which is totally fine if you need another minute. Otherwise, if there was something, Jen just shared what she took away from um, Indy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he's awesome, first of all. Have you seen him? Um, you know, he was on a Sparta call at one, and I feel like I didn't listen to him live, but I went back and listened to it. And I think I have to go back and listen to him again because I can't think of anything. But I remember yeah. going, ooh, I really did like him. I mean, I liked because I am really good at telling stories to myself about, like, why I can't do things. Um, and so he's really good about being, like, are you actually doing anything? And, like, are you doing the right things? Are you doing the fun things? But he says it in such, like, a creative, you know, exciting way. 
Um, but the biggest thing I took away is like, are you working? Or are you on social media and calling that work? He said one thing, I'm a little disheveled, which I can move fast here, but um, he said like, don't let your family be your reason and your excuse. Obviously talking more to moms, but like if you say you're doing this for your kids and then you're also saying you can't do it because you need to spend time with your kids, you can't use it for both basically. And he said, you know, that can work for any reason or any why that you have, but especially for like the family one, um, which was good for me. I spend a lot of time in the car right now. And so I'm listening to a lot of things, but you can't like do a lot while you're driving. So for me, sometimes I'll be like, okay, well, I've worked for like an hour and a half in the car, but that's not really working. So like that was a really good, like in my head, I'm hearing him be like, well, have you done any actual work? <laughs> so that's been helpful. So like before I go to bed, okay, did I actually do the work today? Um, so that was the biggest takeaway. Like I literally will hear him in my head. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm right there with you. I feel like um, two things touching on that. One, I, I can't tell you how many times where I feel like, oh my gosh, I've been online all day long. I haven't done anything. You know what I mean? Like I've not done any income producing activities. So um, I'm sure, I mean, you guys are already in, um, you know, I'm sure that they've shared it with you in the, the team competition group, the new business activity tracker. Mm -hmm. Um, it was huge for me to actually print that off because, um, and one thing that actually, so we had Kim Carver in Tampa who I just love Kim Carver, like go look up anything that he says in the beach body champions page and you'll fall in love with him. He's like such an amazing storyteller and he cries all the time and everybody else around him cries all the time. But anyway, you know, he was talking about, you know, sometimes people, well, I think it was actually in the video where they were talking about the, they had the video of the girl and the differences that the tracker had made. And she was like, I just used to think that trackers were busy work. And that, that was, I was like, oh my gosh, like that's totally me. I'm like, dude, like really, it's one more thing for me to whatever. But, um, it really has been helpful. And I love, like they said, like it has the time limits, right? So you can set your timer. 20 minutes to do whatever or 10 minutes or whatever. And then you move on to the next activity. So you guys probably already have that printed off. If you're watching on the replay, go to the coach online office and search success club system tracker, I think is what it is. Um, it's actually, I wrote down the FAQ. It is cause I had to go back and get it. Um, Oh, no, I didn't. That was the FAQ to the Road to Elite, which is 8079, which you can probably find the tracker someplace in there as well. Um, and we can talk about Road to Elite another time, but I love how they have finally merged the leadership ladder and the Elite and Premier and everything like that. And really, if you guys haven't, I mean, all I have four of you, I will include myself in this. There's no reason why the four of us cannot be premier coaches this year, like at all. Like there's zero reason why we can't. I mean, the, the hardest part is going to be the diamonds, but if we're doing the activities that we should be doing, the diamonds will just happen. Like it just will, you know? So, um, and being premier is pretty fun. I have to say that like they send you a goodie, like a... I don't know. Somebody shows up at your door with a basket from Beachbody. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like so fun. And then you like, you get to like register for success club trip early and you get special seating at summit. And I have to tell you, like, I, I'm not like a swag person. Like I don't do anything for gifts. Like I'm like, I'm just going to work hard because I'm just going to work hard. But that the following year after I didn't hit premiere and I was at the summit, I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I was like, I really like those seats. I liked being invited to that party. So anyway, um, if you guys are interested in chatting more about that, let me know and we can kind of go over that maybe more next week. But um, I will say my takeaway, so this was, I, this was very interesting for me to be in another market Super Saturday because I've only known Indy. This is the first one I've ever gone to in Florida because I was in Indy for January. And then I don't even remember what happened. Oh, Nate's birthday was October and they didn't have one right after summit. So anyway, um, 
So it was very interesting to just be a participant and not be on the market council. And, um, you know, a couple things that stood out to me. So in this market, um, there were maybe 75 people, which I was like, okay, like I can get down with like intimate, but um, the leaders, the top coaches were Lindsay Matway, Bonnie Ingle, uh, Lindsay Stay. Like these are like top coaches. And first thing, there were like 75 people at Super Saturday. Second thing, not a single one of those coaches stayed for the workout. Did not work out what? at all. Is that not shocking to you? Like, like literally, like I was, I mean, and out of the 75, I would say maybe 35 people worked out. Maybe. And I'm like turning around and I'm like, where are the people that are putting this shit on? Because they're like in the other room and they're a little... Prada shoes, like yippity yapping. Like I was just, I was like, oh my gosh, like that's very interesting. You know, not to say that, I don't know, it was just very apparent, you know, I think coming from Sparta, Julie always says we're very much a team where fitness is like, that's built, built on fitness and it has never been apparent to me until that moment. I was like, oh my gosh, but clearly they built their businesses in other ways and are successful so just goes to show take that for whatever you want but I was like oh my gosh like that's crazy to me um okay so there's that then the other thing um so we did so we had Kim Carver and he told the B Sarah story Mary Bridget I feel like you've heard his story about his so he has two special special needs kids and one of them had a friend from high school. Anyway, she invited her to be on the track team, blah, 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 blah. So it was all about really, you know, people feel like you can't make a difference. Like there's so many people to help. Like what's, what is my one invite? And he told this story and the difference and the impact that literally changed his daughter's life over the past three years. And so, um, it's just, it's such a beautiful story, but so that stuck with me, like be Sarah, like we can help somebody. And even if we only help one person, which we have all helped more than that, you know, it, it matters. You matter, that invite matters, that touch, that maybe you're just, you know, wishing somebody a happy birthday, it matters because you just never know when somebody needs to hear it. And then, you know, just like the five second rule or the secret, you know, if somebody comes into your mind and in your heart, there's a reason for it. So act on it. Can I, can I say something real fast on that same note? Yeah. So right before I left for um, Super Saturday, I got a message from an actual old teammate of mine. You know her, Kate Corrado, who is in stage yeah. four. She has stage four cancer. And she told me that she is still doing Autumn's workouts and wanted me to tell her thank you because hammer and chisel is what she's doing right now. Wow. And so I actually took a picture or had somebody take a picture when I told Autumn that and I sent it to her and she said that she went through chemo in the past two days and has been really depressed. And that picture has been the only thing that's really with her. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And you know, we, I think we, we get so sucked into what we are getting out of it and we really do lose sight of what we are giving from it you know and you probably didn't know that kate was following you to that extent you probably didn't know all of that you know that was going on um you know i've talked before about you know courtney peterson on our team you know she's battling breast cancer and you know she has attributed 80 day obsession to literally saving her life because had she not lost 20 pounds last january she never would have gone down a cup size she never would have found the lump in her breast you know yeah that's powerful, like truly life-changing. So I think holding on to those stories and just think how many other stories that are out there of people that we've touched that they just haven't told us, you know, maybe it's somebody who's depressed, you know, maybe it's, you know, somebody who's going through a divorce. I mean, I feel like, you know, I've shared with you guys, you know, like two years ago, I mean, even before we moved, you know, I was going through like a lot of shit, 
you know, and truthfully, Beachbody and this team is what kept me going because that was the only thing I felt like I could control in my life. That was it. You know, when I felt like everything was going to hell in a handbasket and I couldn't control this or this or this, I could control me. I could control if I push play and I could control if I, you know, shared, you know, with other people or helped other people. And, um, you know, so never lose sight of that. And that actually is kind of what I feel like I had lost sight of. I had gotten so, um, I just, I really just felt like I was kind of like going through the motions and I didn't know why, right? Like, or actually I didn't know why I was doing it because I felt like I should for somebody else. And, um, and, and while there is, nothing wrong. And I think it's very important that we all feel part of a team, right? Because I mean, that's, that's part of it. Um, you can never build your business for someone else. And, and I, I'm not, and I say that like with all due respect to Julie and the team, but I had lost myself again. Like I, I had lost myself prior to starting and then I found myself and then I felt like I had lost myself again and I was just going through the motions and it wasn't working and then I was getting frustrated and blah, 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 blah. So at Super Saturday, we did like this vision board and here are the, um, the three questions um, to kind of help with vision boards. One was what, what are the most important things in your life? Family, health, whatever, it doesn't matter. What do those items above mean in your life? So if your family is important, like what does that mean? Like what kind of family do you want to have? What do you want to do together? Um, and then why did you, this was the big one for me. Why did you start your coaching business? And that why turns into a mission and a purpose. So when I stop and I think, okay, I did not start this business to replace an income. It grew and then that those fun funds turned into paying our bills funds. <laughs> like, yes, like we need this money and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But I lost sight of why it started in the first place. And for me, it started because I I found a community of women that were supportive and that I felt like was a safe place for me to celebrate like, oh my gosh, I'm down three pounds when my husband didn't really care because he didn't really get it. You know, I mean, God love him, but he was just like, all right, cool. Hey, you want to slice a pizza? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so it was like a safe place for me that I had never had before. And so when I realized, oh my gosh, like I want other women to feel this way too. That truly is why I started my business. And the last time that I really connected with that is when kind of when my whole like mom stars brand kind of like grew up. Um, and I, again, I kind of felt like I, I lost that. So now I'm like, okay, no, I need to get back to this. So, um, and then connected with that, one of the quotes was the difference between better and best is purpose. And Kim said that he said, you know, I think most of us say, yeah, you know, we're, we're doing good. Like we're drinking our shake. We're doing a workout. We're showing up on, on social media. We're good. Um, we're doing a little bit better because maybe we're tr keeping track of our time. And he said, but we really could do be our best and to be our best. The difference between better and best is purpose. So making sure like Mary Bridget said, you know, if you're, are, are you working with purpose? Are you just checking the boxes or are you following up with that person? Cause you know that you have a solution that can help them. Are you sharing about the shake to get a sale or because you know that it is full of dense nutrients that truly change us from the inside out, you know? So just, you know, th think about that purpose, whatever your purpose is and your purpose may be, to get out of a dead end job and there's nothing wrong with that or your purpose may be to just share a community or to build a community and there's nothing wrong with that you know your purpose may be to you know be an advocate for for women who don't feel like that they deserve to put themselves on their priority list whatever it is so um you know i actually didn't even 
like create a, a vision board that night, but I just went through and answered those three questions, which I found really kind of helpful for me to kind of refocus my business. So again, they are, what are the most important things in your life? What do those items, what do those things mean in your life? And why did you start coaching or start your business? And then take that why and turn it into your mission and purpose. Um, yes. So that is, that is, that is what I have. Um, I'm trying to think what else here. I'm looking here. I guess I did write down a vision. Um, and then I have my, my mission to help women feel accepted and challenged in order to find um, their, their best selves mentally and physically. So I also think that it's important that when I think back of my first group, where not that I ran, but that I was in and what I found in that group is I did feel supported, but I also felt challenged. And I think as coaches, it's very easy for us to forget that it's okay to challenge people, not to just constantly be the cheerleader, but to, because when we challenge them and then they rise to that challenge, then we're empowering them, you know? And I think we've all felt empowered in some way, you know, and not just like rah, rah, because we can just be like, oh, it's okay. Just do your best. You know, well, guess what? If Sally does, if Sally thinks, you know, marching in place for five minutes is her best, I bet you anything she could do high knees for one minute and that could be her best that day, you know? And so it's okay for us to challenge people. So, um, yeah, so that is what, what I have. And I know that Mary Bridget, your call is like, oh, started like a minute ago. Um, thank you for running that for us. Let's wrap this up here and then maybe we can just chat in, in the chat and figure out what we want to chat about next week. Cause I would love to hear more about your guys' goals for this year. So then I can figure out, you know, so I can better help you and PS yay to all of you guys who are in the team challenge group. I know Casey's also in it cause I've seen Ooh, I'm not in it. Are, are you in it too? No. Okay. You're not in it. Jen is. So Jen, Sarah Lydia, and Casey are the ones that I saw. And you guys all have like really good teammates. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited for who your teams are. So it's very exciting. So Mary Bridget, if you want to be on a team cup, let me know because I, okay. I would love to be on team cup with someone. And I think I have at least one of my coaches. Um, yeah, she signed up and she's already like talking to people. Um, yeah, so that's super exciting. Okay, so here is the quote from Josh Coates that's stuck in my head, and then I'm going to hop on the other one. Okay. Don't give yourself credit for what you intended to do or the people you intended to help, but for what you actually did and the people you actually helped. Amen to that. <laughs> Amen. Okay, I'm going to hop on the other one. All you right. Guys guys. Can talk. I'll, I'll fast forward to the end to see okay. if you guys figure anything out. All right. Sounds good. Bye. All right, so does anyone else have um, anything else you want to share? Otherwise, if you guys want to pop over to Mary Bridges, yes. Just a quick thing, and it's not necessarily Beachbody, but uh, the Instagram just came out with a new feature. Um, it's an alternate text, which helps algorithms create and find new posts and new things. So at the very bottom of Instagram, there's a or when you're posting something, yeah. it either says alt text at the very bottom, or when you're looking at a post, um, there could be like an advanced or like the three dots, you know, yeah. if you click on it and it's an advanced thing, but it's considered alt text. And it's basically so that the visually impaired can know what's there. Yeah. So it's a whole new market that they're opening up. So I'm sitting here looking on mine would that be right hold on i got that to figure out what i'm seeing hold on okay so it's for new posts okay so for new posts so like i'm creating a post like you're creating a post okay Oh, advanced settings? No. Yes. Oh, write alt text. Alt yeah. text describes your photos for people with visual. <gasps> Excellent. So it's a new thing, but I just found out about it. I can't remember where exactly to give credit to, but um, 
it might have been planner or something like that but yeah so it is a whole new market that's going to open up a whole new algorithm that's going to change pretty much the algorithms again so basically you would use phrases similar to like using hashtags yeah but you don't like yes pretty much so you're not going to say the same thing in your text or copy but it's right. going to be like sean t yo bananas or you know like whatever yeah a short little clip of something of what the picture okay, so is or you could add more description to it gotcha yeah no that's that's actually really good because so i've been digging more into so i used to blog like as of last week was the last time but i used to blog for <laughs> a mom's blog and so i learned a lot about like the alt text and things like that and basically um, so this is very interesting. So on like websites and blogs, when you upload a photo, as opposed to it, just you know, like being IMG.375.png dot three, seven, five dot PNG or whatever it is, you title it, but then you also add the alt text, which may be, um, Sarasota mom's blog, top parks or whatever it is. So then that way it's getting into not only the Instagram, but the Google sphere of things so that's very interesting they also have it on twitter now too oh, they do same oh. thing i just saw it like on both of the platforms that happened i think this weekend that is awesome well that's good to know also for usb there because as many i mean we just we need little yes blocks, you know to how exciting you're on prime oh my gosh i know it was awesome it was awesome like yesterday alone we have like seven seven well we had like three sales a total of like seven units you know like people were buying multiples i was like oh my god this is so exciting um so i mean little by little but that is very interesting that's yeah really good so i would now be interested like beach body type related what can we do to kind of well i mean i guess if not many people know about it then getting in on that early you'll attract mm -hmm. people more quickly um, but also, you know, what can you do to make yourself stand out from the Melanie Metros or, you know what I mean? Like, like from anyone else that just does 21 day fix. So I guess that goes back to, you know, the branding and your pillars and, you know, things like that. So that is a great tip, Sarah Lydia. Thank you. You're welcome. That is good stuff. Good stuff. Um, how are you guys liking Transform 20? I love it. I love it. I, I, I so much liked today, the speed of today compared to the rest of his craziness. Yeah, no, I I love today. And when I saw strength on there, I was like, oh, this is, reminds me of like Tabata Power or, you know what I mean? Just something like I knew that there were going to be push ups. I had killer arms when I did Max 30. That's what I'm going for. Mm -hmm. Well, and abs and everything else. But no, I just, but do you, are you guys like exhausted? Yeah. Are you really well, tired this I, week? I get up at four freaking 20 to do this. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really fucking exhausted. Oh my gosh. I mean, I feel like number one, I do feel like I'm more hungry. Um, just because it's just way more straight up cardio than I'm used to, which is great because my body responds best to that. But, and then also I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm really tired. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I, and it's 20 minutes. So, and that's really four. Amazing and then getting up at 3.30, yeah. It's you get up at 3.30? Yeah, because Michelle's doing it. And so in order to do it with her, we have to get up before, before, because she leaves for work at like 10 till five. So you get up at 3.30? Okay, good. I am not the yeah. earliest bird in the, in the planet. Wow. We get up at 3.30, 3.35, and then make our energize, and then we start working out at four. So maybe I need to schedule my morning post for like, uh, like Four. three forty-five <laughs> or three thirty. So then that way you're not waking up to an empty feed, girl. I will do that for you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. It's thanks, just you know, a little click of a button. But I'm like, oh yeah, five will be good. No, <laughs> no, I'm done before then. Yeah. I'm done before five too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. I. So I have hardwood flooring in my house where I'm working out right now. Yeah. And so I have tried to put like the beach body um, 
I guess it would be like their ab mat underneath yeah. it, but it kind of slides and the width is weird. Yeah. So I did a just a cheap yoga mat from like Walmart and that yes. works perfect. Yeah. If you have people that have questions about that. Yes. And you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that because um, I know that thing has sticky things on the bottom, but it slides all over. I and mean, we have um, tile. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. Um, and I, I'm with you. I had the jump mat, but it is, it's like, it's, it's too thick because then it's a little wobbly too. And then you're like, you kind of have to move, I, like you have to move the step because then you're, you know, whatever. Yeah. So the past two days I've used the yoga mat and it's been great. So that's yeah. a great tip. We should probably yeah. mention that. Mm -hmm. And I love today that there wasn't so much jumping so I could do it just in my mm -hmm. socks, which was lovely. <laughs> I like to work out bare feet. But my knees were sore after that faster one. Oh my yeah. Okay. yeah. My hip was sore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I may be a little sore. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna shower and go to bed after this. Ava and I were in a little like fender bender this evening. So cool. are you um, okay? Yeah, no, we're fine. I was just we were pulling out and I started to turn right and then I stopped, but the dude behind me didn't, so he hit us from behind and her I don't know, she got a little fat lip from I don't know I think it was probably her phone her phone hit her in the face um, but my back and neck is a little tender you know what I mean like I don't think it's like full-on whiplash but I'm just like oh I I hope that tomorrow morning I feel okay drink recover I don't even have it oh oh wait 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 oh wait no 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 Re recover I do have I do have recover that's not a bad idea maybe I'll make a little evening yeah cocktail tonight for that yeah you yep. don't have recharge is what i was thinking yeah That's i haven't tried recharge yet oh it's so good i like it i have such a craving for sweets in the evening and so it's perfect right before mm -hmm. bed. do you drink it every night still mm -mm. no yeah no just when i'm really following a program and really not taking many days off then right. I tend to drink it. And if I'm really trying to follow the nutrition. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I've been pretty good. I've been doing a lot of fixate recipes. Oh my God, that tomato soup was so good yesterday. It so yes. good. It looked really good. Especially huh. with the coconut milk. That's the way to go. Yeah, we were on our way to the store <laughs> when we got into the accident. So I was like, yeah, so guess who's not going to the store? So we ended up going out to dinner and I just got chili because I hadn't really had much protein today. Um, so I've actually, I've been doing pretty well. I've um, mixed back in. Intermittent fasting works really well for me. So I'm kind of I'm doing that in combination with um, my containers being mindful of them, I should say, but okay. which is better than not being mindful of them. But one and, of the things Autumn said was that containers work when you use them. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I only get two yellows. I'm like, oh, two yellows and two purples. Like that does not feel like much to me. Yeah. On the same one. Oh my gosh. You know. But I have been. I have been eating an extra vegetable serving yeah because and that's what, food, right? right and and that's totally cool like today's lunch was pretty much all veggies which i'm fine with like i'm glad that i just did the refresh because i always kind of gain a new appreciation mm -hmm. for that yeah but um well hey my time is about to run off and i don't want to run out i don't want to cut anybody off but i'll post this in the team page thank you guys so much for going to the events and sharing tonight and let's chat next week about goals for 2019. Um, and we will also talk about the road to, to elite slash premiere. Awesome. All right. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you guys.